Well, having seen defending champions. Um, do beg your pardon, we haven't seen any defending champions so far. What am I talking about? We're all excited here on the prospect of defending champions coming onto court in the mixed doubles. Thomas Laybourne and uh, Camilla Ruta, you're uh, up against the All England champions, Zhu Chen and Ma Jin from China. So here come the All England champions. against, of course, not only the defending Denmark Open champions, but also the former world champions. Thomas Leiborn and Camilla Ruti won the world title in 2009 in Hyderabad in India. Camilla Ruti who's hit the hardest smash of any female so far in this year's tournaments. Her partner, Thomas Label, 221 that was, her fastest smash, just over 130 per hour. So there's only one player on court who hasn't won a world title in mixed doubles, and we're looking at him right now. Ju Chen. And he's seeded five with Ma Jin. Up against the unseeded combination of Thomas Laborn and Camilla Oruti, your home favourites, the defending champions. In fact, two times winners of... Denmark Open, won back in 2005 as well, been in four finals in total. Well, they're only seeded five ranking since the seeding was done, has gone up to number two in the world. 36 and eight, and that's both their career and this year's win-loss record, which obviously indicates that they only formed their partnership at the start year but already they've won two titles this year not only the all england but also the china masters well, they've looked pretty impressive in this year's tournament when you consider that first round match against li sheng mo and cheng yu chin of taipei that taipei pair were the 2000 bronze medalists at the world championships so to beat them 12 and 10 was very impressive indeed in just 28 minutes of play against the Danes also two straight games so for the Danish pair Thomas Labor 34 years of age world ranking at the moment of 10 but they've only got nine tournaments towards that world ranking and you can see their win-loss record for the year eight and six and I suspect that their world rankings will dip if they don't retain this title because big points from winning the Denmark Open a year ago and those points will drop off obviously with the conclusion of this year's tournament. Both of their matches have been pretty impressive too, especially in the first round against the number four seeds, Sukit Praprakamol and Sarali Thailand, because that pair from Thailand was the pair that their opponents, Ma Jin and Zhu Chen, beat in the final of the All Olympics this year. Now, just before this mixed doubles quarterfinal gets underway, it's up to date with news of Jan Jorgensen, who had to withdraw from his quarterfinal match against Chen Long in the men's singles. Jan Jorgensen course was the defending champion here at the Denmark Open last week he hadn't been feeling terribly well and he felt that his heart was racing 
when he was out for dinner and arranged to have some tests. He hasn't been feeling particularly well since and went to have some and they've discovered, the doctors have discovered that the, he might well have a virus in the heart muscle, which is obviously of huge concern. So he's uh, being kept in Gintofta Hospital overnight uh, for observation. And of course, wish him very well, all of the badminton family from all over the world, and obviously very disappointing for him personally that he can't retain. He said in a press statement his health is obviously far more important than trying to retain his title by playing today when possibly risking his health. Quarter final. This is the first meeting between these two pairs. The former world champions from Denmark, Thomas Leiborn and Camilla Ruti Yu. Jutan and Margin. Bronze medalists from this year's. Of course, the All England champions. And of course, in those World Championship finals, Zhu Chen and Ma Jin against the pair that eventually won the title, Zhang Nang and Zhao Yun Lei, their teammates. They'd lost the opening game, Margin and Zhu Chen, 21-17, when they had to retire. Margin had a, an ankle problem, and you can see that her right ankle, or we can certainly see that her right ankle is heavily strapped. But, Ian, I can't really let it go without comments, the fact that this particular men's have withdrawn partway through a match in three of their last four tournaments. The other two tournaments, of course, being the China Masters and then the Indonesian Grand Prix Gold event. It's uh, unfortunately, it's a, there's a little bit of a pattern emerging within the Olympic qualifying period. Some tactical decisions being taken. And uh, certainly one or two China China matches. One or two too many walkovers you might say in these matches. And we've had another one in the ladies singles today. But I think we're in for a good match here in this mixed doubles. Yeah, what's, you know, obviously we've talked in the past about sort of a European style of mixed doubles and an Asian style of mixed doubles. 265 already. That's 165 miles per hour. What, what's, just explain to us again the, the, we mean when we talk about a European style of mixed doubles as opposed to an Asian style. Yeah, I, I think this match is maybe not the classic example, actually, because in Leibourne and Newell, they've, they've got a lot of set plays. They use, they bring Camilla Ewell's left hand into play and it very well. And also Thomas is a player who likes to actually be aggressive from the midcourt and he's got a lot of confidence in Camilla in the rear court, so he'll take some chances. He'll net. So it's more about their own specific style of play, I think. They've got a very special combination. Chinese pair is more classic Chinese mixed doubles pair. Zhu Chen providing the power and the mobility from the rear court, and it's Ma Jin who likes to get in and control the forecourt. In many ways, the, Chinese, the more classic traditional mixed pair, I would say, with the man staying in the rear court, smashing, trying to get his partner into the play. I think the Danes bring a little bit more variety to their play. Yeah, that's fascinating because, of, of course, Ma Jin. She won the world title with Jing Bo.
in Paris last year. And Cheng Bo has left the National Training Centre in Beijing, cited as having a, a bad attitude and therefore not part of the setup anymore. So they were looking for a new partner for Mar come up with Zhu Chen. He used to play men's doubles with Guo Zhendong. And it has been highly successful in, in you know, formed their partnership at the beginning of the year and here they are at number two in the world already. Yeah, I think there are a lot of similarities between uh, Zhu Chen and uh, uh, Zheng Bo. Um, very physical players, bring a big bring a great physicality to the game, big determination, very high intensity of game. Jin likes that, she reads the play very well in the forecourt, she's got quick reactions, she can respond to the pace that her partner puts into the game. So, quite a similar style. And also, Zhu Chen has played a lot of mixed in the past. He had a, quite a successful partnership with Ting Ting a couple of years ago. So he's got good experience in mixed doubles. He's not new to the event. He lacks a little bit of variety, you would say, but uh, certainly plays with high intensity and a lot of power. Oh, and that was going wide, wasn't it? Yeah. There we see that power from the... This is the Danes off the net. Margin, the change of pace in the front. She does tend to block an awful lot, though, doesn't she? Yeah, she takes the shuttle early, though. Opponents. She's not blocking from below net height. She's not le letting the shuttle come to her. She's moving on to the shuttle, and that keeps her opponents on the back foot. <laughs> and that's the other aspect of Margin's game to watch. Very, very quick on third shot. Closes the space down in that forecourt. Very quick on the serve and reactions. Good defence from Camilla Ruti. Yeah, she read this very quite predictable from Chen Zhu. Smashing cross on the lady. Camilla, you ready for it? That's a really good example, Chen Zhu prepared to just keep smashing. Hit five, six smashes there, no problem. Keeps the pressure on. And that keeps his partner up and close to the net where that block's so effective. Power from the rear court, touch from the front court. It's good mixed. Yeah, and you're not kidding when you say power from the rear court. T5. Yeah, he's getting close to that. Record for the week, isn't he? 277, of course. So far this week in Odensa. Yeah, good, good chance we're going to see that go in this match, I think. Chen Zhu looks ready to keep the pressure on. the signal indicating to a partner where she's going to where she's going to go for the third shot as well service over 6 9 yeah, she'd be disappointed there good serve and the block back onto her body we can see just the touch on the net deviation of the shot the the waiting racket Service over, 
Yes. Yeah, clever from Margin. Just wanted to play the drop and watch how she moves forward afterwards. Looking to rotate straight away. Squeal of delight from Margin because she and her partner have a five-point advantage. Der er masser der er godt, men vi efter vi lige laver den der ene øh, rigtig god retur, du trækker ud over baglinjen, så, så er det som om vi vil for meget på serveraturerne. De ligger pis godt, men accepterer det, og så går op og laver noget på den, så vi kan få den under, øh, eller hvis vi kan få halv distance, ikke? eller også køre den der ind over hovedet på hende, så han har den her nede, og så får vi det løft der. Vi er nødt til at have mere op. Ikke? Så på god for tid på dem. Ja, lige præcis. Det er bare at sted fremad. Der, altså, der kommer ikke mange svipper, og hun er ikke succes med den ene, der kom i starten. Ikke? Øhm, I offen så er for at slå stejl og variere på hende, og så skal vi have en rigtig god chance, inden vi går hårdt. Ikke? Ja. Well, Ian, what was the instruction there from Lars Ura? Yeah, I think it was talk talking a lot about the return of serve situation to try and take the attack. Seemed to be indicating that he wanted wanted them to go a bit more to Chen Zhu rather than Margin early in the rallies. Margin take her off that net position. See if they can get some pressure on Chen Zhu, force him into playing the lift. Certainly in the first half of the game, it was the Chinese pair who were getting the, creating more opportunities in attack. Yeah, I think that's the tactic to go past margin, but Chen Zhu there was very, very quickly onto that. It was quite a loose return. Watch this, he's pushed the midcourt, but he's pushed it up. And that gives Chen Zhu the time to, to get there and to put pace on the shuttle again. Which Yeah, that's better. That's what they need to be doing. Try and get in, get control of the net, get the attack. Yeah, that's good from Camilla. Taking the pace off, forcing the Chinese to take the shuttle from low down and to lift the shuttle. Yeah. Very aggressive on return of serve. Yeah, and I just felt when you were about Thomas Laybourne's re return of serve a couple of rallies ago that it was going in an upward direction and it just went through my mind is he being committed enough on that return of serve does he need to really sort of use the explosive power in his legs to, to really say I'm, I've got to get on top of it because unless I'm really we're going to lose the rally anyway Yeah, that's a good point, Joe, and I think we saw it there. Although he played the block return, he took it early. And that means they've got to lift, and he's got confidence in Camilla in the rear court. She's strong, as we can see here. And it's Camilla that creates the opportunity for Thomas in the front court. But, as you say, he's got to get the legs moving. He's got to go to the shuttle on return of serve. Make sure he gets the shuttle below net height. And that's good, taking margin away from the net position with the flip side. We should, of course, mention that Thomas Laybourne has had his injury woes of late. And, of course, they've only played nine tournaments in the last 12 months. In fact, only six tournaments this year. So, you know, perhaps still not to full physical fitness, which is affecting that explosive power. He's got both of his ankles heavily strapped. 15, 9... Yeah, that's good from Chen Zhu again. Very good return. He's very quick onto the return, taking it early. Not always trying to hit it hard. He's mixing it up nicely between. Yeah, Thomas has had a lot of injuries this, this year, but as you said earlier on, he's got a great record in this tournament. He loves the Danish Open. Yeah. Form anywhere it's going to be in this tournament. 
And he's certainly fired up for this. He's moving better than I've seen him for a while. Involved yeah, in very, very fast rally there, and I'm quite certain that head coach Lars Uar will be urging them to perhaps take a bit of pace off there. They just seem to get carried away with the flat, fast exchanges. Yeah, I think I, th I think pace on at the start of the rally is okay. Take margin off that net position back, then play the block in front of her, get the shuttle coming up. I think you're right, it's the mix between the two. You can't play only soft because she's too good on the front court. Now, what is the problem here, Ian? The tournament referee, Dennis Lee, has come on to court. Yeah, he's calling for the doctor. There's a problem with one of the dames, is it, or...? Camilla. Perhaps a blood injury. Yeah. Of course, the rules of sport now... It is a blood injury. She's indicating that perhaps she's bashed her finger. <laughs> mm, not terribly sure. So she can straighten it, does it? No, of course, it is her yeah. non racket hand. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes you just need a few minutes to get the feeling back after a, a nasty. Team nine. Play. Oof, yeah, that didn't look good at all, did it? No wonder she was in a bit of physical distress. Oh, that's good pressure again from the Chinese pair. Good finding that mid-court space. Again, it's the block. The block bringing her opponent in and then pushing past into the space in the rear court. It's a very good mixed. Better return. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, more aggression. Almost seemed to change her mind there. Didn't seem committed on the shot. Yeah, I think she's got to go for that, hasn't she? She's so good normally at using her height to intercept down that left-hand side. She's right to go for it. She's got to be a bit more committed. Oh, that's gone long of the back line. Again. Got to commit, hasn't he? Yeah. There, once he gets in there, he's got to really commit to that. Just held back a little bit. Shuttle went flat. Oh, that's a nice angle. Good smash from Camilla Ruti. That's great. You love to see that. The girl hit. Defense. Sure, you appreciate that one, Jill. I've got a little wry smile on my face there, Ian. I always like to give it a bit, a bit of a bash, didn't I, from the back of the court? I think you and the other English coaches were always saying to me, "Calm it down, Jill. Mix up the pace." You've got to be true to your own nature, though, Jill. So here we are, ready. Gain points for the All England, All England champions, and they take it on the first opportunity. First game won by Chu Chen Ma Yin, 21-11. 21-11 confirms the umpire. 
And again, margin controlling that front court very nicely. It's very mobile across the net. Good movement. Takes the shuttle early. Det er det, vi gør i starten, der er godt. Vi skal bare kommitte os 100% til det. Det er vi nødt til. Og vi kan også se fra ham, at han bliver usikker. Så vi skal have ham med ned til ham. Hvis ikke der er noget godt i det, hvis ikke vi kan spille halvdistancen og sådan noget, så bare gå op i hjørnet, og så må vi spille kontra langt frem. Han kommer ned af hver gang. Ikke? Fjerne hende lidt fra det hele. Ja, lige præcis. Det er hende, der, laver pointen, det er hende, der styrer det. Også, ja, lige præcis. Så når vi spiller, når vi holder kort, så spiller, er der ingen af dem, der... Vi ved godt, du rykker. Så prøv en gang at rykke, men så bliv lidt tilbage, fordi den kommer lige ind over hele tiden. Ikke? Så straf den en gang, så skal den kort nok komme igen. Ja. Så når vi får op. Vi har den ikke så varmt. Husk at være tålmodig. Ja. I stedet for bare at hamre på det til. Nu har vi et oplæg. Ja. Men stejlt. De er vant til at blive hamret på. De er ikke vant til at blive slået ned af. Ja. Ja. Kom så her. Well, very interesting to see. You know, not only talking to their coach, but also enjoying a moment of humor there. So he's obviously relaxed them enough. He was obviously giving them a lot of instruction and the specifics of that instruction uh, trying to play short to Chen Zhu try and take margin out of the game in the net in the net area try and make Chen Zhu play from below net height try and get him more in the game Go! One love. certainly they had problems every time margins got in the rally in the front court she's mixed it up very well between the block She's into the rear court, and she's looked very dangerous on the front court. Can't afford to be given her easy opportunities there to get in, into the rallies. There we see them pushing through to Chen Zhu again. But Margin able to intercept, play the block, lift goes up. Chen Here we see block from Margin again. A big attack across the defense. Well played. Again, margin. So quick across the net with the movement. Used a lot of flick serves at the start of this second game, haven't they? Yeah, broken the game up. Very effective. Again, margin, lovely control across the net there. Again, she's so quick in behind it. Even if there, ready to take control. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of frustration coming into. Yeah. The game of Thomas Label. Yeah, they're pushing through to Zhu Chen, but he's equal to it at the moment. Just blocked it off nice and simply took the attack. thought they had the advantage the day crouching in on the net both Camilo Ruta Yul and her partner yeah they had a lot of attacking attacking opportunities there but I just feel they've got to go more try and get the partner in at the forecourt in the forecourt even when Camilla's at the back I think she needs to go to the center try and create some opportunities for Thomas because he is Good judgment. 
And finally, and the Danes get a point on the board in their second game. And in case you're wondering what all the applause is about, I can tell you that on an adjoining court, Danish women's doubles pair of Alina Dampier Krusa and Maria Oroka have just defeated a Japanese combination, Mizaki and Takahashi. better they went to the middle they got the chance couldn't take it oh dear. the moment margin gets in on that net position she takes the pace off forces the lift Zhu Chen obliges with the big smash they went to the center that was a chance in the front court and margin able to get in take the pace off Dane's obliged to lift has the big finishing smash here I think Ian that the Danes stick to their resolve keep to the game plan because it's to me that they're beginning to lose their way they're not looking as if they're you know well they're trying things but it's not working and therefore they're trying something different well, they're used to playing a very quick game down the sides and confusing people with this right left combination you know sometimes Thomas follows sometimes he doesn't and it confuses pairs but the quick game down the sides against this Chinese pair just isn't effective. Either Margin takes it and blocks it off and gets the lift for a partner, or Zhu return with, with equal, equal pace. They need a change, they need to go to the middle of the court, just try and break the, break the game up a little bit more. I think a little bit of pace off when they do get the shuttle to the center would be really useful here. But again, there's no margin there. She knows margins in good position. She knows it's got to be so accurate that she makes the mistakes, gives herself no margin. You will see it. See margins ready. She's already moving in that direction. That creates the pressure. Pushing past margin, but it's going upwards. Can't get it going down. They can't get it down on the midcourt to Zhu Chen. And he's good on that game from above net height in the mid here. Power, very strong forearm. Yeah, because there was no, virtually no backswing of the racket, was there? No, good technique. Out. Service over, three, nine. Need a run, you feel they need a run here before the mid-court yeah. interval. Themselves in a positive frame of mind. That's good, taking margin away from the net position. And the second drive back there, keeping her off the net. She was looking to come forward. Yeah, I totally agree. That's what the Danes need to do tactically is to get her to the back. But when you consider that a year ago she was silver medalist in the women's doubles world championship final, you know, she's not shabby from the back of the court. It's it, is that, you know, this new Chinese combination is very, very strong in all departments. No, she's good from rear court, but at the moment she's killing. Yes, so I think yeah. you've got to get her away from there. That's yeah. better. Pace off from Thomas. But he's just hit straight onto defense there. Go away from that. Yeah, you see. Yeah. Solid played. from the back, but immediately comes forward. Yeah. Yeah. And there, Thomas, he played the block, which was good. Forced Zhu Chen to come in, take the shuttle late, lift high, but then hit straight at uh, Margin rather than going to the space in the middle. 
Ja, det er bare ikke været Jo, jeg er ikke enig med dig. Men, men det er ikke let at få den ned. Vi må ikke blive fornærmet over, at det ned til dem. Så må vi variere og gøre noget andet et stykke tid. Ikke? Så i de der, hvor de forventer, at vi kommer hårdt, der skal vi komme blødt. Ja. Ikke? Ja. Så hvis vi kan overraske dem at komme hårdt, så er det okay. Stadigvæk frække her. Aftaler på i, uh, i modtagningerne. Kom så. Yeah, you can sense it there, Camilla. You're just a little bit frustrated at the moment. A little bit negative. A little bit negative there. Not really looking at a coach. Body language not great. Showing real signs of frustration in this match. And what the Chinese have done very well, they've kept her strengths Number out four. of the game, haven't they, Jill? Normally yeah. we'll see Camilla Yule Check intercepting a lot on the front court. Being very aggressive and she's just not getting opportunities. Either Zhu Chen's hitting too firmly through her, and, which doesn't give her the opportunity, or Margin's blocking the shuttle in front of her. Yeah, and that error on the return of serve, perhaps a further indication of the frustration. Yeah. Yeah. Normally Camille Yule would be backing herself to take anybody on around that front. She's been totally dominated in this game on the net. That's a good return. Oh. Oh, missed it. Yeah, it was a miss hit. Came off the Turns going up, I'm afraid. Both of them absolutely so eager to step forward into hitting the shuttle. A defensive shot there from Zhu Chen. Driven deep into the open space. Yeah. Now ten point advantage. Yeah, I don't want to write one sense is they're playing a little bit for pride here making the scoreline a little bit more respectable and yeah again margin taking no chances she's got the danes off the net her partner's put pace on she takes pace and that creates the opportunity 281 well we suspected that the record for this Unix Denmark Open may go in this match, and indeed it has. That's the fastest smash of the tournament so far. Oh, could yet go faster. Looking at that rally. He's pumped up now, he's on a roll. That's strong, that's very strong. Well, this is a run of seven straight points. Yeah, finally the run comes to an end. But one suspects that that really has Five, done six, the damage. Yeah, I'm afraid that's killed the game. It's a long way back from here. Particularly the way Zhu Chen's returning service has been very aggressive on return. And margin just finding little spaces on the front court or the mid court. Yep, so they go to the flick serve against it. Six, sixteen. Ten-point lead. Zhu Chen's got license to be very aggressive on return of serve here. Can afford to take one or two risks, keep the pressure on his opponents. Oh, she's so fast across court, isn't she? she played from her backhand side, then across the net. Your forehand. Look how early she's taking that. Sideways movement isn't easy. That is super. Great leg strength. Good images there. That is over. Seven, 
off. Goodness me. Well, that's a good, that's a very high quality rally. It is, isn't it? Very fast exchange. And real power again from Zhu Chen in the rear court. Good return. Good leg drive. Pushed hard with the legs, got in, took it up. Opponent. Deceptive flick into the rear court. She's missed one. She hasn't missed many when she's taken the pace off with the blocks there. Virtually every day towards Thomas Laybourne. Well, just as you were suggesting that the Danes should keep it away from Ma Jin. Chinese have felt they needed to keep it away from Camilla Ruta Yaw. Oh, look at that serve. Bit of revenge there. She's times herself. Well, the ace on the flick serve brings match points. Delaying the inevitable, one suspects. Yep, indeed, this time. Very workmanlike performance there from the world number two ranked pair, Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. 21 11, 21 12. Match one by Zhu Chen, uh, Shen, Ma Yin, 21 11, 21 12. Well, absolutely superb on the net margin in that quarter-final. And as much as the Danes try from that front-court position, making her way back and dominated the front and dominated the match. 21-11, 21-12 in 37 minutes of play. So through to the semi-final. Marjin and Zhu Shen. Eighth of the year for the Chinese pair. Not bad, but they've only played ten tournaments. They have a great understanding, don't they, for such a new combination awareness of where their partner's going to hit, where they should be covering on court. Well, they keep it very simple, don't they? Margin looking to get in, create the attacking opportunity. She knows her partner's got great power and speed around the rear court. She's got a lot of confidence. She doesn't take too many risks, but she does take the shuttle very early. She likes to take the pace off. 
forces the opponents to lift. And Zhu Chen obliges in the rear court. Control of the front court. So just one more semi-final berth to be decided, and that's of the draw. Will it be the Chinese playing against Japanese combination of Ike? Or will it be the Koreans, the Olympic champion Lee Yong Day playing now with Ha Jung Ung? Top four, of course, we've got the world champions. Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei up against the former champions here at the Denmark. Confisha Nielsen and Christina Peterson, who became the Indian combination. Diju Valiavitil and Juala Gutta. Very convincingly indeed. 21-5, 21-7.